Hey guys, Rafe Derazi here. Uh, so I was originally going to do this vlog about the photo shoot that I had this past week with a good friend of mine, Hanya. Um, we, had, we took some really cool shots in Costa Mesa, drove down there for the day, and um, was gonna show, I took some like video footage of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that for next week because uh, there's something more pressing and more important to me that I feel like I need to talk about today. So, as time has gone on, and as I'm really going after my passions, my dreams, I'm committed, I'm um, f being true to myself and following my heart, I'm noticing more and more um, that it tends to scare certain people in my circle of friends, the people that I love and care about scares them away or it makes them react out of fear and a lot of times that fear comes <laughs> excuse me sorry <sighs> a lot of times that fear comes in the form of an ultimatum you either do this or you lose me um i was literally just thinking the other day uh something minor it, not quite that happened, but something minor happened that was um, uh, someone that I care about reacting out of fear. And I was literally thinking to myself, Rafe, you have to be prepared to risk losing everything that you know as it is in order to gain everything that's waiting for you outside of your field of vision, outside of what you even know is possible right now. Little did I know that that would be that would come into play so real today. This morning I woke up 6.30 in the morning to a, a very long message from someone that I care extremely deeply about. I'm not gonna go into detail about who it is or what they said exactly. Um, but essentially they said if I continue to do what I do, what I am doing and what I have been planning to do, that I would, I would lose all ties with that person and with all the people around that person. That's all I can say at this point. I apologize, but that's all I'm prepared to talk about at this point. I, I, I hate being ambiguous, but that's all I can offer up right now. I hope that you understand that and that um, hopefully I can readdress this at a later time. <laughs> um, all I can say is that if I were to lose this person and these people, it would... <laughs> As you can see, it would, it would devastate me. <laughs> you know, I've already experienced this kind of loss on, on a different scale, on a smaller scale sometimes. It's really tiring. And it hurts uh, to lose people that you care about because you're trying to be happy and you're trying to be yourself and you're trying to help other people. <laughs> and again, it, it has the potential to put a lot of doubt in your mind. Um, I honestly, I honestly, at this moment, right now, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have no clue. I just gotta, I gotta take some time for myself, <laughs> listen to my heart. And then, uh, and go from there and hopefully, you know, um, God or universe or whatever will, will guide me. Um, honestly, I don't know why I'm this way. I don't know why I'm so open and transparent and <sighs> like sharing who I am and, and, and telling it like it is. I've always been this way since I was a little kid. I've always been super, super, super open. My heart has always been like an open. All right, sorry if the framing is off. Uh, the battery just ran out, so um, I had to change it really quick. And I was in mid sentence. Uh, so what I was saying, I'm I'm an extremely open-hearted kind of guy. I have no problems being vulnerable, if especially if there's a possibility that it can help somebody else. Um, <laughs> And I know that, and I know that what I have to offer, my personal life experience, what I'm going through, 
could, could potentially help a lot of people. It already has helped some people. Some of the stuff that I talked about on Instagram has already helped a lot of people. And people have come to me for advice. And I think it's so important to talk about certain issues and that it can't be swept under the rug and not talked about. That hurts. That hurts those people that are dealing with that crap. And it, it creates, it, or it can, sorry, it continues stigma. And people can't grow and learn if people just shut up and don't talk about what's important. I mean, even when I was in junior high, I think it was like prop prop 22 or something. At that point, I had no idea I was gay. I had no freaking clue. Yeah, I was teased and taunted and made fun of, but that was that was not even like on my radar. I had no idea. What I did know was that looking objectively at this Proposition 22, which was uh, in order to ban gay marriage in California, I just knew in my gut that that was wrong, that it didn't make sense. How could how could that hurt anyone? It doesn't make sense. So I ended up I ended up staying up all night. I found like a white shirt that I had. I turned it inside out, and I got some markers and like drew all over it, supporting Proposition Twenty Two, uh, and then wore it to school the next day. <laughs> uh, let's just say that I got a lot of looks, and a lot of people started talking uh, even more than they already did. But I didn't give a fuck, because it was important to me. So, and then uh, when I went to UCLA, in my early 20s, I remember it was like the, probably the first week that I was there. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Fuck. There, uh, on, the main, on the main walk at UCLA, and God bless that whole situation that's happened in the past week. That's fucking atrocious it's horrible um, but on that on the main walk where the students go to get from classes to dorms there were two gentlemen um, I think they're pretty famous they're uh, like conservative Christians who are very much anti homosexuality anti gay marriage all of that and they were on their uh, bullhorn just talking so much crap and there was a huge circle of people standing around them uh, maybe 25, 30 people at that time, 40, I don't know, uh, and nobody was saying a word. People were just standing there silently watching these fools talk all this hate. And I remember walking, I was walking with my friend uh, Alita, who was in theater with me, and I was walking through the circle, I had my backpack on, and I kind of just like passed through the circle of people into the circle where they were standing and like walked up to them. And like, I was like, is this real? Like, let me just make sure that this is actually happening right now. And I, I, I listened carefully to what they're saying. I'm like, okay. I analyzed the situation. Everybody's standing around, not saying a word. I don't know if they're supporting or what it is. And then I started to walk through the other side of the circle and, and towards the dorms. And then I just was like, I, I, I have to go back. I was like, Alita, can you please hold my backpack? I'll be right back. So I go into the circle and I, once again, I walk up to the guys who were just ignoring me and I was listening to their arguments, what they were saying. And one guy had an electric cord uh, with a, the male end and the female end and he said, this is the way God intended it. It's supposed to fit like this. And, um, and then all of a sudden I just thought of, I just thought how like asinine and uh, unintelligent that reasoning was that stream of logic didn't make sense I was like yo so I just started I just chimed in all of a sudden and I was like do you think that you're supposed to put the male end to the male end and that's how it works because if that's what you think then you got it all wrong buddy no wonder why you're having a hard time grasping this whole concept and and then I heard a couple chuckles and start some people started laughing that guy who was who was who was spieling all that hate even got a smirk on his face and then went back to what he was doing and at that point I was like okay so randomly someone happened to have a gay flag in the crowd and and was was handing it to me they're like here take it so i took it another random person had a boom box started putting on like <laughs> britney spears or some random <laughs> bullshit like gay ass stereotypical music and i just like took my shirt off i had the rainbow flag and i just started like dancing around the two guys as they're like doing the spiel and people started to laugh and i was like hey like this is cool like i'm performing and these people are laughing and and there's a really important message going on here at the same time. 
Uh, so then, then I then I addressed the other guy who was a little bit more like crude and raunchy, and uh, he started like calling me names like "Oh, you pig" and blah blah blah, and like almost like drilling it at me. It almost felt like he was being a, a drill sergeant to me. So I, I I took that cue, and I decided to like get down on the floor and start doing push-ups and I was like, yeah, I was like, talk dirty to me, yeah, I like it, I like it, yeah, keep going. And it kind of, I was just noticing that as I was coming up with these jokes and responding, it was diffusing their power. I was taking away their power and turning it into something small and, and, and worthless with my humor. Because humor means that, that uh, you are in control. And so their control dissipated. And after maybe 10, 15 minutes of me doing this, other people started to speak up. Other people started to chime in. And, and everybody was supportive of me. And it took on a life of its own. And everybody started going off. And at that point, I was like, cool. You know, these guys are done. Like, whatever they have to say, nobody cares anymore. And everybody's speaking up. So at that point, I grabbed my backpack and went home. I've always been like that. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I had a really rough childhood. Maybe it's because I went through a lot of shit. Maybe when you lose a lot, you're not afraid later in life and other circumstances when things matter to you to lose again because you know that you can handle it. You can get through it. <laughs> and then you'll be okay. Because at the end of the day, if you have you, if you're true to yourself and you have happiness in your heart because you're because you're following your path, what God put you here to do, who God put you here to be, then nobody can take that away. That that real happiness that's inside, no matter what anybody takes away from you. That is the most important thing to me at the end of the day. Um <laughs> It's, you know, it reminds me of, in the Bible, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a really religious person, but there are a lot of things that, from religion that I find extremely helpful and extremely good. So there's this story in the Bible how God asked Abraham to kill his son Isaac. And it's like, it wasn't about him killing his son, it was about God saying, asking him to be willing to risk losing everything, what matters m most to you, in order to gain something profoundly greater that you can't even comprehend. And when Abraham did that, God said, okay, stop. Y you got it. You get it. You've, you've given yourself up. You've given up your ego, your worldly desires, needs, wants, your limitations for something greater. And I feel like what I'm doing here is along the same lines. I keep getting tested and pushed like this. And um, I don't know, I, I, I just, I don't, I can't say what I'm gonna do right now, I don't know. Anyway, it's been long enough, this, this vlog. Um, Thank you to everyone who's supported me, who's who's watched my vlog so far, who's liked, subscribed, commented, who's asked me for advice, who's who've given me support. Uh, it really means a lot to me, and, and it helps me, and it gives me uh, the extra push to keep doing it. It's not easy. Um, every time I record a vlog, I get a, a minor panic attack, and my like ego in my head, my self-critic just goes nuts, goes apeshit. And I gotta work against that, but I keep telling myself that this is this is worth it in the end, and it will be. Hopefully, I hope. As always, feel free to comment below. Um, you can message me, YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, Snapchat. You can DM me, whatever, however you want to contact me. Awesome. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out. And um, I'll see you next week.